Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to quickly talk about the difference between uh, groups and assemblies. Okay, so let's create a project first. So the groups, groups you can use, uh, you can create a group for detail items and uh, model elements. Okay, so let me quickly show you. So for example, detail lines and few regions and uh, text so if you select all of them create a group okay so now you have a group detail group you can also uh, add or remove stuff so for example this group you can edit group add element okay you can remove element and finish it so now so you will see the one you remote will yeah just come out of this group so I'll delete it so now this is your new group and the group will go under your project browser here group and if you open it you will see there are two two top of group so detail and model and this is a detail and um, this is quite useful sometimes when you need uh, exactly the same uh, detail, exactly same lines, uh, nodes on different views. So you can so copy this and go, for example, on the level one, I want I also need these um, detail items. So I'll just align the same place. They will be uh, in the same location. So and then if you edit it, it the the other one in the other view will change as well so you don't need to do um uh in multiple views just do it once okay so now let's have a look at the model group so if i create a i'll just place a desk and i'll just copy them okay so four of them you can create a model group and okay so now it's under here so you can call you can copy and paste because you'll see control V you can also do this drag drag the group so for example if you don't um, for example you don't have group you don't have anything in this view you can just drag it back okay so you can drag this back and uh, um, you can also do arrays and they are still the same group so group one see group one so if you copy that they are also group one and if you edit one of them so edit group and you, all the rest all the other group will change because they are the same group group one okay so uh, I'll quickly show you another one so if you tag you can tag individual uh, item in this group and also you can hide an item in this view just so uh, let me just control Z and go back so just use tab so here yeah, tab the tab key and to select individual uh, item so if you just want to hide that in this view you can use a H okay so if you want to exclude you can also click on this one to exclude this item which means this uh, this desk is no longer in this project but this one is still uh, the same group one as the rest of these so if you change for example if we edit the group of this one uh, move the desks also move this one okay they are still group one so this is quite useful when you um, don't so for example, you don't want to create multiple groups and you, you can just use one group but you can just for one instance you can exclude items you can only have only two disks here but uh, the other two disk disks will still match the the other group okay so that's it so um yeah, that's that's pretty much it about the group. So 
now let's have a look of the assembly so i'll just delete uh, delete this okay so I'll delete everything here so now assembly i'll just place an, some other desk no. maybe another full desk here so select them and this time create a assembly so first um, Revit will ask you for a name and also you will notice that uh, here so we have a category category here so because all these four desk desks are furniture so you will only have one option if you have uh, if in this assembly you have different uh, so actually I'm going to you not instead of use desks I'm going to draw a, a curtain wall okay so I'll just draw do a curtain wall so because usually uh, I, I, I like to use all curtain wall for some um, just existing windows so because I don't want to spend time uh, model existing stuff so I'll just I like to use curtain wall so pretend this is a window existing window okay so and uh, if I'll select or select all and create an um, assembly so and just make sure because the curtain wall it, itself so see this curtain wall so which the dash line the curtain wall won't be able to add you you can't you can't just you can't add curtain wall into as assembly you can only create an assembly for the panel and volumes okay so okay so now this time you will have two up two uh, category so you can either you select curtain panel or curtain wall model you know of, of course um, because because I I, I I like to I want to use this curtain wall as a window so not usually I will always try to so for example you can edit the panel edit model in place and change the category of these panels to windows so you can you, you just need to do one 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 of them you don't need to even uh, every single panel of them so now if I create a assembly and you will have option windows as well okay so so yeah usually when I try to when I do assembly for 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 the this uh, I always try to make it a window category so now I can name it so for example existing window 001 double one something like that okay so now the assembly it will go under here so in your pro project browser so you will see double ex001 so this is the assembly and also when you select 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 your assembly you will notice that all the items so in here two panel and all one two three four five six seven uh seven volumes are selected not the this one so see this is a curtain wall the curtain wall itself is not in this assembly okay so which means you if you want to adjust the windows you still need to select this curtain wall and adjust this curtain wall and everything um, in this assembly will be uh, adjusted you can't just move the so move the volumes or anything and also the uh, if you want to do anything about the grid the cut uh, the the curtain grid yeah the curtain grid you, you can't add uh, the curtain grid into the assembly as well so so you just you still need to try to so for example if I want to move this volume right so you still need to tab try to tab 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 select this curtain uh, uh, grid and then move it oh sorry it's, it's pinned okay so now if you go back go back and uh, select this curtain oh sorry assembly so we'll see the the the, the moments moved okay so um 
now let me show you the difference between the cut uh, between sorry between the groups and uh, assembly so previously if I move a group so I'll just drag that group back okay so come on come on come back okay so this is the the group we did so that's full disks if I have two of them and then edit it so you will see the, the, not, the, the other one will change as well right but if this so I'll just select select both the curtain wall and the assembly okay and the copy so and you will notice that if I go back to for oh, hell um, it looks like we have some issue here because the grid was we rem we moved the grid and also because the setting of the um, the curtain wall there will be uh, the the middle the model in the middle um, maybe let me think uh, how do I do this I'll I'll get rid of the vertical grid delete grid okay 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 so now that that's all good now so now we have this ex001 this one is ex001 as well yeah good so they are the same assembly so just like the group if you copy and still the same group one group one and assembly ex001 assembly ex001 okay so now the difference is if I change this so for example uh, previously I showed you how to change this uh, the assembly you just need to select this uh, curtain wall so if I change this uh, maybe make it longer 3 meter long oh, so 3 meter wide and you will notice this one stay the same okay so now if you if you click if you select this um, assembly the name change 003 oh, why is it not 002 that's interesting anyway so it's no longer 001 okay so let's do it again so if I select everything here copy and paste and it's still 001 and if I change select this curtain wall change the width to something like this and then select this see it become a 004 so every time you change one of them so if they are the same, same they, they can be the same uh, assembly so uh, let me show you so this one let me check the length of the 3 meter so if I change this if I change this back to 3 meter and now if I select this one it become 003 same as this one so um, okay so now you um, understand uh, so if if they are the same they will be the same name and if you uh, change it it will create a new assembly and if we ch change them back to the same exact the same uh, assembly so for example in here the same width and they become the same assembly again so let me do it again so here this is 001 these two are both 003 because they are three meters this one's um, 23 so if I change this to no maybe I'm not maybe not not typing because it will become a different different see go both the way control Z I'm only going to drag this point to 3 meter so it will become the same shape of the rest and then select this so it become double three exactly the same to these two okay so this this is the difference this is one of the difference between groups and assembly and another difference 
is um, so group if you right click you can see that's not much you can do so it's basic thing so rename or okay so but assembly so this is something different so you can create assembly views okay so for example if I uh, so because, uh, pretend this is an existing window okay so anyway if we need to do some maybe Windows schedule or something like that. So you can just create assembly view. And here, so we have all these options here. So you can even create a, a sheet only for that assembly. But uh, I'll just uncheck everything and just only create some of them. So maybe plan, maybe a um, left uh, and uh, elevation front. Okay, so okay. So now, all these views this is a plan view of that assembly this all these views are under this assembly okay so instead of go up floor plan elevation they are all under this assembly so if you create a view for assembly 3 it's under here and so for example this is floor plan and uh, from elevation 3D view, so only show uh, only show the um, assembly its itself. So even if, so, if I go to ground floor, okay, if I go to ground floor, if I draw some wall around all these windows, okay, so all these won't show in these views, okay, unless so for example, if I if I'll just copy one desk to next to the next to the window, okay? Next to here. And if I edit assembly and add I'll add this desk into this assembly and finish, of course we will create a new assembly. So oh, that's okay. So if I click OK, so we will see that this assembly becomes double O five. And it, now if I go to plan view, so we will see this disk, left, front, 3D. Okay, so this is very useful for, you know, create detailed drawings. And, and uh, I think that's, that's, that's it. Um, okay, so yeah, let me know if you uh, have any question or if I miss anything. Um, Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.